This was supposed to be a day of voting. Instead, it's another day of fighting in Guinea's capital. Security forces in downtown Conakry fired tear gas at protesters who respond with rocks. President Alpha Conde's address to the nation failed to quell their anger over a move that could keep him in power. On national television, Guinea's president announced a delay in local elections and a referendum on a change to the constitution. It would allow the 81-year-old to run for another term and potentially be in power until the age of 92. Never mind those who think it's a setback. The future will show that we will come out of this stronger. The people of Guinea will freely express their choice through the referendum and freely choose their members of parliament. The vote was cancelled after the bloc of West African nations and an organization of French-speaking governments refused to send observers citing 2.4 million irregular entries in the electoral roll. In addition, many people had not received their voter cards. The opposition accused the government of electoral fraud and had called for a boycott. We are open to dialogue so that we can discuss our differences. This crisis is not our choice. Our choice would have been that laws were respected and the rule of law was applied, but this is not the case. Since Alpha Conde announced his plans to change the constitution and stay in power, human rights organizations say hundreds have been arrested and at least 30 protesters have died in clashes with security forces. Most are ethnic Fulanis. They make up the majority of Guineans, but never has a Fulani been elected to power. Many of them feel unrepresented in politics. When you have the ethnic dimension in politics and you add to that exclusion in the political process, you increase the tension because now you make part of your population feeling like they are completely excluded from the, the management of the country, from the, from the political process. The postponed vote is now expected to be held in two weeks. And while the opposition is preparing more protest, allies of Conde are resigning, among them ministers and senior members of the armed forces. The president is increasingly isolated, and it seems unable to bring back stability to his country. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.